all across the world and in America people are developing a special love for animals now I could see many of them have the um, Chihuahua and other miniature dogs and they're doing fine but some of them are delving into the big cats lion and tiger four six hundred pound animals and somehow although I would want to assume that they're evil they're equating themselves with the original man when God said I give you dominion over these animals so they've developed a psychology that if you play brave and you don't show fear you know these heavy 400 pound animals and just chill out but some of them have taken them from pop nurse them and so on so there is some love if they could if you could say that between them and the lion tiger or whatever or the python but um, they, 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 the lion love them so much that they want to attack them see what I'm saying they just want to play well you know they accept each other's you know uh, the lion accept him as, as a, a lion and he accept the lion as a, as a human so they're just playing they just since they're initiating the play they're gonna play like lions they might slap with the hand you know, with the paw bite a little bit with the um, canine teeth and these are deadly actions they could break the neck or puncture the, the, the organs and kill them and so this picture here of this dwarf and this giant is an illustration of the original man compared to us because as a theologian I, I've come across where um, originally Adam and Eve they were about two and a half times our height so I'm assuming something like 18 feet all right um, 15 to 18 feet tall and proportionate I guess means he weighed a ton so that he could have you know wrestled with a, an elephant uh, he could have wrestled with uh, I mean a lion would attack a, a person like that see plus uh, the animals might not have developed this viciousness because uh, humans have trained these animals and bred them for certain characteristics so that uh, and I said in a previous video that diamond and gold were on top of the earth and some people amassed a lot and therefore they needed some way to protect it from others and so they started to get an animal and train it up to be fierce to protect it and so on and, um, and so some of these animals have not been original they um, were made as it were by amalgamating different things and, and breeding certain traits so uh, these animals today are not even like the animals that would have been in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve because those animals were docile and they were very um, well they were docile they weren't as vicious so that folks need to understand that and stop messing with these animals so that the guys in um, Las Vegas even the two magicians uh, he said the um, lion tried to protect him and he fall and all this stupidness uh, you know it's dangerous I've spoken to first responders um, EMT and they said they get a lot of calls where people have pythons on them and they want to get it off or other animals lock them up <laughs> and, and they, they're scared I mean I would never ever think of you know rearing up a python or a lion or some tiger not me because I know I'm not I'm not Adam and Eve I don't have that special relationship with the angels that would, would come out and protect me the animals are different from those animals so it's so bizarre that I, I think that this is a dangerous trend and just as Pharaoh and other civilizations before they became extinct uh, people develop a special affinity to animals they want to bring into the families because if you see in the Tutankhamun and these other pharaohs um, tombs they have animals with them and they were thinking of taking the animal to the afterlife according to their philosophy so whenever you see people developing this special relationship with animals it's a bad sign it's a sign that that civilization is about to become extinct because they are negating and, and don't appreciate human interaction and human relationships they prefer to have some animal that I don't know what it appeals to in them but it's a part of you know becoming evil uh, part and just prior to extinction by that civilization so people watch it